Hello students, today we're going to look at um, chapter 4, lesson 4, which is all about graphing linear functions. And it's going to be on page 34 in our composition book. Now, let's look at linear functions. We talked about functions and we figured out if a group of points is a function by seeing if anything repeats in the x, or if we can do a vertical line test on a graph. Um, but what is a linear function? Well, if we look at those first four letters of linear, we see the word line. And a linear function is a function that, when graphed, forms a line. And you're going to look at some linear functions and they're going to look familiar to you. Um, but we're going to talk about how do I graph a linear function, what does it look like, and um, so on. So the first linear function that we're going to look at is going to be something like y equals 1 half x plus 2. It's a linear function. Well, it says it's a linear function. We're going to see. We'll make sure. So um, we know from the past, we've, we've seen this form before, y equals mx plus b. So we need to find out what b is. And b is 2 and m equals 1 half. And since b is 2, that's our y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. So I'm going to go to my y-axis and go 1, 2, and that's going to be my first point. And then I take my slope, and from this point that I've already graphed on my graph, from this point, I'm going to rise and run. Well, this tells me I need to rise 1 and run to the right 2. So I'm going to go here, up 1, to the right 2, and there's my next point. And I'm going to go up 1 and to the right 2, and there's my next point. In this class, we have to have three points to graph a line. So I have three points, and now I can use my ruler to draw a line through those points. And the key on this part is putting an arrow at the end once you draw your line. I'm not going to um, draw the line because I don't have a ruler right now. But once I draw the line, I put an arrow on each end so that it tells me that the line continues to um, go in both directions. It doesn't stop. The next linear function that we're going to look at is y equals negative 3x. And so we're going to figure out how I would graph this line. So y equals negative 3x. I need to pick out my b and the m. Well, the b would be whatever is plus over here. Well, there's nothing there, so b must equal 0. And then m is negative 3. But you know, for rise over run, we have to put it over 1 to make it negative 3 over 1. So I have my rise and my run. So now let's graph it. If b equals 0, then that means I'm going to start where the um, y-intercept is 0. So that means I start at the origin. And there's my first point. And now from that point, because b was 0, I'm going to do rise and run. Well, this tells me to rise negative 3 and run 1. So I'm going to rise negative 3 means I go down 1, 2, 3, and to the right, 1. And there's another point. I can do it again. Down 1, 2, 3, and to the right, 1. There's another point. I have three lines. I can use my ruler to draw the line through those points and then put an arrow on each end. And that is the graph of y equals negative 3x. What I would like for you to do for your practice problem is to graph y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 3. Now you can do that on um, a piece of graph paper and take a picture of it. You can do it in Edge of Creations and take a screenshot. Or you can do it in Notability and take a screenshot. It doesn't matter where you do it, but you're going to graph this equation, this linear function, and then take a picture of it and turn it in using the turn it in button that's right below where the link to the video was. That way I will know what you understand and what you still need a little help on.